Hi everybody, it's Nunu and I'm here with you in this assignment, Final Work, Using Autobiography to Tell a Story with a Theme. This relates to Course Student Learning Objective 1, that's what CSLO, the acronym, means, and uh, let's review that. Uh, so we have it here. Uh, course Student Learning Objective 1, at the end of the course, the successful student will be able to write a scene in a play, screenplay, or work of fiction that dramatizes character conflict and advances plot. Uh, so that is Course Student Learning Objective uh, 1 that this assignment relates to, uh, using autobiography to tell a story. Okay, uh, let's survey this assignment. Uh, what do we have here? We have assignment notes. This is important information uh, that will help you to complete this assignment and it also provides information about where the assignment rubric is. Uh, we have an original literary work. It's due by 11.59 p.m. on Friday. We have peer evaluations. They are due by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. And we have additional resources for this assignment. Uh, to review, you have the video below, how to write fiction that comes alive, and you have advanced information, show, don't tell, tips and examples of the golden rule, which of course is show, don't tell in literature. And we have autobiographical fiction, what it is, examples, and how to write it yourself. And that's very fitting uh, because we're going to read the directions for our original literary work, which is due by Friday. In 750 to 1,250 words, that's three to five pages, use aspects of your autobiography, your story, and experiences to build the story, to give it verisimilitude, which means truthfulness. Do not tell your story, but use who you are and what you know to tell a story. Your story can be a poem, a short story, screenplay, soliloquy, personal essay, or some other form of word art. Okay, if you have any questions about this assignment, using autobiography to tell a story with a theme, uh, see me here in inbox or uh, visit me during my Zoom office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1 to 2. Okay, let's get started. 